we say that two quantities are proportional, if their ratio stays the same from one situation to the next, what does it mean for the ratio of two quantities to stay the same? Let me give you an example of proportional quantities. When buying a product at a store, the total cost is typically proportional to the number purchased. So that means if we write down the ratio, total cost over number purchased, that will stay the same no matter how many you buy. So that means, well, all right, suppose I go to the store and I buy three TV dinners for $10.50. Then the ratio of cost to number bought is 10.50 over 3. Or simplifying that, I take 10.5 divided by 3. Oh, 3.5. Now, since we have an intuition into this situation, we have an understanding of what that ratio actually represents, right? That ratio represents the cost per dinner. In other situations involving proportional quantities, we might not have such an intuitive understanding of what that ratio represents, but that's okay. We can still use the ratio in the way we're about to describe. We would expect that if you bought five TV dinners, the ratio would be the same. Right Now I'm going to tell you what we would expect you to pay and then I'm going to go through how we would find that out. We would expect you to pay $17.50. Why $17.50? Well, $17.50 over 5. That's the same value. 17.5 divided by 5 is also 3.5. How could we use the fact that these are proportional quantities in order to find out about this 1750 price? Well, one way that we could use would be to set up what's called a proportion. And that is a technique that we'll see later on. But there's an easier way to go about this. The easier way to go about this is just to go back to our definition of a ratio. Remember, the ratio of A to B is the number so that A is B times the ratio. So that means that the cost is equal to the five TV dinners that you buy times the ratio, 1050 over 3. And when we work that out, that's where we get the 1750. By understanding ratios in this way, we can make these calculations with proportional quantities very easily. Let me give you another example. Suppose you have a recipe that calls for three cups of flour and one and a third cup of milk. You'll only use one cup of milk, and you want the ingredients to be proportional because that's how recipes work. How much flour should you use? Well, again, using our understanding of a ratio, right? the amount of flour is the amount of milk times the ratio of flour to milk. So in this problem, the amount of flour equals the one cup of milk I'm actually going to use times, in the recipe, three cups of flour to one and a third cup of milk. Okay. Well, that arithmetic is a little bit awkward, but I have a calculator. 
So I take 1 times, I probably didn't need to say 1 times, but whatever, 3 over 1 plus a third, close parenthesis, close the other parenthesis, that's 2.25, or since my kitchen is short on measuring cups marked with 0.25, I'm going to make that a mixed number. That's 2 and some fraction. Maybe you know off the top of your head what fraction 0.25 is. But if not, I'll take the fraction part of my previous answer and convert it to a fraction. 1 fourth. So how much flour should I use? Two and one-fourth cups. Not too bad. What did we do? We got the ratio from the recipe, and we chose to set up our ratio so that we would only need to do arithmetic.